Hi everybody, welcome back. Here we are on week two, Josie here. Nice to see you guys again. Here we are in the appetizer section here. And I got a really good one for you guys. I got my own recipe here. It's Josie Smokes Fish Dip. And um, I'm gonna run through the ingredients, but um, just to let you know that outside of food, my second hobby is fishing. So this fish I'm using today, I actually reeled it in and prepared it myself and I have a smoker so I got to smoke some too. So that's what I'm going to use for the smoked fish part of the dip today. And of course uh, it was a Spanish mackerel and so that's what we have here. You can make this dip with salmon, any other type of, of uh, smoked fish. The, the smoked salmon is popular in the uh, grocery store and you're going to go to seafood. A market you can get all different kinds of smoked fish okay so let's get started of course I got the smoked fish I got a little milk over here chopped onion yellow again Spanish onion for the sweet I got of course my Philadelphia cream cheese relish Worcestershire sauce red pepper cayenne pepper a little salt and pepper a celery branch, I'm going to add a little lemon and we're going to have some parsley in there and I'm going to decorate it or finish it off with a little chive on top. So let's get going here. We want to go ahead and put, I'm sorry, we'll start with the cream cheese. We'll go ahead and put the cream cheese first. It's been softened, it, but I like to like play with it a little bit, soften it even more before I put everything else in there. And I hope I can open this thing. Here we go. Here it goes. Okay, so to this, oh, it's perfect. It's really soft, see? That makes it so easy. We're gonna do the fish. I'm gonna add the fish. Ah, got it all out. And I wanna put the milk, and that's three tablespoons of milk and one and a half cup of smoked fish that I've already pre-shredded. And of course, you saw it was a whole packet of Philadelphia cream cheese, eight ounce. So I'm gonna mix what I have already a little bit here. Oh, God, something about the smoke. I believe I use apple wood chips on this one to smoke the fish. It's not too strong, just strong enough. All right, we got quarter cup of finely, finely chopped onion. Grab a spoon here. You want two tablespoons of relish. There you go. We want a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm just going to eye it. That helps bring out that smoke flavor. It blends really good together. And then a little heat, cayenne pepper. Now I like quite a bit of heat. I'm going to leave it up to you. It's to taste. But I think I probably pull about a full quarter teaspoon and maybe a little bit more. Want to do a little salt, not much. And some cracked pepper. And I had one thing to chop here. I had a full celery branch, and you want to chop it really small too, because you want you don't want a big chunk in your mouth when you bite onto your cracker with the dip on there. You want to taste the Philadelphia cream cheese, the cayenne, the onion, that smoked fish. So I'm doing like really small little slivers here. And, and that's going to be about a quarter cup to half a cup. It's a little bit more celery than onion. Going here. Okay, here we go. So you want it little. Just about done. Egg. 
little piece left here. I want to include it. Put that entire. Okay, so I'm going to add that. It's a little bit more than a quarter cup, I say. And now we need a little lemon juice. This is a real soft one. It's probably very juicy. And barely any pits. Look at that. How nice. Now one about, I would say, uh, about a tablespoon. No more. You want to you taste citrusy, but not too much. And don't want to overpower the smoked fish. Okay. And I'm going to make one little sliver here for the garnish. little triangle and make it look pretty. Okay. All right, here comes the mixing. And mix that baby up really good. Now we serve this right away, but it'll easily keep in the refrigerator for four full days. So if you only use a little bit the first night, you want to have it again with a glass of wine and some crackers a couple nights later. Perfect. It'll be beautiful. Oh, I s oh wow. Look at that. All incorporated. I can even see it. tiny little bits of cayenne pepper. So you know this one's going to have a little heat. Like I said, I like the heat. My husband likes the heat. If I take it somewhere, I might tone it down a little bit on the cayenne. But you want, you want to feel a little something there that, outside of that smoked fish. So I'm going to plate this for you. See how quickly that is done? Get it in your bowl here. Yum, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. Little parsley. You know, Paula likes a little green. And let me see, I'm going to put a few little lemon wedges here like this. There you go. Doesn't that look pretty? Great. Now I have, this is like the backyard cookout laid back way to do it. And then you have the fancy way here. If you had a fancy evening or a party to go to, you could just dress it up, change it up a little bit. It's all gonna taste the same. It's gonna be delicious regardless of which way you plate it. But let me see here. I have a few minutes and I'd like to surely taste my recipe here. Oh man, nothing like smoked fish dip. I mean, really. Look at me piling this on. <laughs> oh, you see that? Mm. Let me taste it. Mm. Make a mess. Who cares? It's going to taste good regardless of what you do with it. Mm. Very, very, very good. <laughs> Leave it to me. All right. Well, there you have it. Josie smoked fish dip. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. It's delicious. And I'll see you next week for week number three. Until then, so long. Bye, everybody.